Guys, this is very rare and if you guys saw the thumbnail and read the title, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Let's just go ahead and jump into the video real quick. Let's go. You're a wizard, Harry. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content. Today we are talking about a rare item an item that I bought from Amazon and funny enough Amazon went ahead and actually bought the real one and made some copies of it one that is right here and there's roughly 50,000 in the world and your boy Johnny the collecting wizard finally went ahead and got one and I'm so excited to finally show you guys <sighs> let's go ahead and just jump right into it I'll go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about it because it's a lot of information and I want to go ahead and be respectful about all the information and get my facts right that is always priority all right so I guess I'll just open it. which is crazy because this is a really big box for a tiny little book so I'm kind of scared I'm like wondering like did they mess up or did they just this is how it comes in like is it a huge box and then a little box so geez oh of course a box inside a box nothing all right so oh my goodness here I have my trusty knife with me and we're gonna go ahead and open this so uh, this is weird because it actually says USPS but it's not USPS like I don't know I don't know how that works out I bought it on Amazon so I don't know how that correlates with US. I don't know. I thought Amazon was gonna deliver it. Turns out this is USPS delivery. I'm just wondering why this box is so big. Dude, this glue is no joke. This USPS glue, Jesus Christ. Almost broke my freaking knife. Dude, what the heck do they super glue this thing with? Is this industrial glue? Jesus. Alright, we got it. Dude, this book is huge. What the hell is this? What the hell? This is a huge book? This is a really big book? I did not expect this book to be this big. This is bigger than a Bible. This is huge. What the heck? All right, so first, before I go ahead and just open this, I have to tell you the story because everyone loves the story and I have to tell you why there's so little of these copies of this book. So, let me put my, my knife down. It's so squeaky. So, I'm gonna sit down with you guys for a quick second before I go ahead and get back into unboxing this and talk to you guys about how I came across this Tales of the Beetle the Bard. Well, JK Rowling made six books, hand wrote six books to each of the individual people that were a big part of why Harry Potter is the thing that it is. And so for example, like the first person who published the book and all of that, basically she hand wrote six copies of the tales of Beetle the Bard. And one of them, well actually no, she hand wrote six and then she did a seventh one because obviously Harry Potter 7 July so yeah the number 7 is very magical for her so she went ahead and did the seventh one but the seventh one wasn't for any particular person she actually auctioned it for charity and basically whoever bid the highest was gonna get that copy turns out Amazon bought it yeah for three million dollars a book for three million dollars it's one of the most sold at auction book ever ever so it's pretty crazy there's only seven copies in the world six of the copies are given to particular people the seventh one was auctioned bought by Amazon and they made 50,000 copies I have one of those copies 50,000 copies so I'm very excited to finally you know come across this I okay since I told you the story of why I came across this 
I didn't expect Amazon to be selling them or to even come across it because I don't think they're selling them anymore. But I came across it on Amazon, which is pretty crazy to me already. But dude, this book is huge. I didn't expect this book to be this big. Oh my gosh, where the heck am I even gonna put a book this size? I, no, I don't wanna use a knife. Okay, maybe I need to. God. Guys, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with a freaking book this size. Oh my god. I know this isn't the real, you know, book, but it's the outside of the inside of the book. Okay, if that makes any sense. There's a book inside a book, okay? That's so what we're gonna go ahead and uncover right now. And I'm being very careful so I, that way I don't destroy the actual cover of the book or the book outside of the book inside it's so complicated but i'll go ahead and show you guys dude this is huge oh my God. more bubble wrap look at the size of this thing i did not expect this thing to be this big i thought it was going to be a regular book but this is a literal like huge book look at this thing this thing is humongous and it on the side on the spine over here it says the tales of beetle the bard and it has an amazing wand with a rose with thorns and in the bottom it says JK Rowling alright so over here it says the tales of the beat of the bard JK Rowling's signature over there and in the back it has a skull with some roses alright so we're gonna go ahead and open this okay hold up hold up this is so cool alright I have to go ahead and show you guys what I just saw so Here's a book, and as you're opening it, it's not a book. Things are hidden inside. So, I shall peep those things that are hidden inside a book that's within a book. All right, so here we have a letter, and over here it says, Collector's Edition Prints, J.K. Rowling's name, Children's, High level group, health, education, and welfare. And here we have some JK Rowling official pictures that she actually hand drew, which is really cool. Has her signature. I'll go ahead and show you guys each one of these closer up. So that way you guys aren't just looking at me um, turning pages. And she actually like hand drew a lot of these. I don't think she hand drew all of them. I don't know. But I do see that some of them don't have her signatures and some, oh wait, yeah, they, they, they do have her signatures. Yeah, she has her signature in all of them, so that's pretty cool. All of these are hand-drawn by J.K. Rowling, which is really cool. Okay, now that I have the book that was inside the other book, look at the size difference. Like, this thing is not even close to the size. Alright, so this says J.K. Rowling over right here, engraved. And we are gonna open it and see what it lies inside. All right, now this one is cool. Oh my god! All right, guys, this is the actual book. This is more the size that I was expecting. That thing is humongous. Basically, the story goes that this book was actually hidden inside a Hogwarts library book, and that's where this book looks like so that's why it's like humongous but yeah this is the official book that actually has pages and stuff and it has a skull it actually has yeah it has a skull with blue pearls in them on his eyes i have no idea if, like what they are but basically two little eyeballs that are blue and it has like a lock over here if you guys can see it has a lock right here that you just go ahead and open oh my god i opened the box oh my god what am i Tales of Beetle the Bard, translation from original ruins by Hermione Granger, with commentary by Professor Dumbledore. Nice. It's kind of weird because it has like, it has a wand with thorns. It has a heart bleeding. It has a skull. It has, it has a lot of really dark things with like nice stuff, which is, I don't know. Hey man. That's, that's cool if you like that. All right, so guys, this is a really heavy book too. Like it has some girth in it. The tables of context is introduction, the wizard and the hopping pot, which is the hopping pot is a place where you could go ahead and get some awesome drinks over there at Universal Studios in the wizarding world. And Dumbledore on the wizard and the hopping pot. 
the Fountain of Fair Fortune, also in Universal, in Diagon Alley actually. Uh, Dumbledore and on the Fountain, oh, so it has like the actual story and then it has Dumbledore's version of the story. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Warlock's Hairy Heart, that's where the heart came from now. It's clicking. Bibbidi Rabbidi and her Crackling Stump, that's the one that Ron was like, you've never heard of that? So I completely want to go ahead. Actually, fun fact, I have never actually read Tales of the Beetle the Bard. Uh, so Babbity Rabbity and her Crackling Stump, that's where the stump came from, so it makes sense now. And the, the famous, all-empowering, The Tale of the Three Brothers. And it has a handwritten letter by her. Oh wait, it's a whole, of course the whole thing is going to be handwritten. I am so... Oh wait, no, it's not. No, this one, this part is handwritten. So basically, she hand wrote the introduction, which is super cool, like in her handwriting. So yeah, she hand wrote the introduction, Tales of the Beauty of the Bar, is a collection of stories written for young wizards and witches, and all of that. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And this was 2008. So she hand wrote this over here. It's her signature here with the year 2008. This is by far probably my favorite book. Like I have already came to a realization. I'm saying probably just because I love each item as my like it was my personal like children. It, like they're my personal children. But yeah, this is by far like introduction, presentation, like the whole book inside a book. This has definitely been the best book that I've ever opened and this is just an amazing piece of history that I'm so glad and honored to have in my collection. Thank you so much Amazon for going ahead and sending me this. I love that you guys cared so much about this to you know wrap it like an actual collector would and just kept it in pristine condition as much as possible so that way I could enjoy it. And yeah, that's gonna be a wrap guys. If you guys like this video, definitely go ahead and leave a like down below. And if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Johnny. I go by The Collecting Wizard and I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content on a daily basis. So if you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one.